March 24th, got distracted today. Remember to do laundry and start the psychology paper. Do we hide it? Nah, no, no, man. Sebastian texted me and said he was done studying and coming over. Uh, actually, can you grab it? How many more rooms are there in here? Is there anyone else in this room? All right, now that I have peed in the toilet and not out a window, will one of you fucking pussies do a line? Is this yours? Yeah, that's my fucking Coke. And these assholes refuse to share it with me. Who the fuck kicks a roommate out of the room just to steal a little Coke? What's your name, sir? Sebastian Grande, what's yours? I'm gonna see some ID, please. Fuck you. I see how these books. We're going to need to record everyone's names down for the affidavit. As you may be aware, illegal drug possession is a crime and goes above campus security jurisdiction. Now you will be summoned sometime this week to the public safety building where we will take your full information and give you your court summons, which will be about a month or so times from now. However, the university's disciplinary committee will hold a separate hearing sometime this week, and this will determine your academic standings and punishments. By the way, I'm confiscating this. Purely based on emotion that have abs. How'd your parents take it? Last night it was really bad. That was a disaster. And we all could have been fucked. So we're really grateful for you did, but we need to know why you took the fall for us and why you did that. All right, do um, you wanna go get something to eat? The legal thing is going to go away here. One or two years, it'll be off my record, and you guys weren't even charged. And as far as the school goes, that's just me. I'm, I'll probably just get probation or maybe suspension, but... Look, Sebastian, I, I wasn't on the disciplinary committee like you last year, but, I mean, we both know that a charge like this, this, this isn't going away with suspension or probation. Come on, man. Maybe. I'm... We don't know. Best we can do is just try to figure it out now. Grab some pen and paper and just, we'll do it right now.
All right, I'll grab it. Sebastian. No, I'll, I'll get it. All four of us were having a few drinks in my room this particular evening when Sebastian left for about 20 minutes and came back with a small bag of cocaine. He said he wanted to share it with us. He told us he wanted to watch us try our first line of cocaine with him. We told him no. We told him we wanted none of it and he needed to get rid of it. But he refused to listen and he set it out on the table. He told us he was going to the restroom and that when he came back we were going to do lines with him. It was at this point that he left the room, and two officers from campus safety came to the room and began questioning him. Came back from the restroom to find campus safety questioning them. Due to my heavy intoxication, it took a couple of moments to absorb the severity of the situation and take full responsibility for my actions. Mr. Grande, you state that you were planning on shared cocaine with your friends, and yet less than half a gram was confiscated from the area. So. As the experienced user that you claim to be, does this not strike you as a rather small quantity to share among four friends? No, ma'am. Half a gram is more than enough for three first-time users. So you weren't going to take any yourself? I had done a gram earlier in the night. How do you explain the rolled-up bill with traces of cocaine in it? if your friends refuse to participate. It was my dollar bill, ma'am. The same one I had used earlier in the night. So, where did you acquire the cocaine? Sebastian, wait. Seeing you fall this, this far this year. I would almost believe that performance in there. If you hadn't condemned yourself so, so correctly. I don't know why you did this, but uh, good luck, Sebastian. Goodbye. Go. Don't see me off. It'll be easier. I have been searching all of my days. Many a road, you know, I've been walking on all of my days, and I've been trying to find what's been in my mind as the days keep turning into night. March 24th, got distracted. With no friends standing near All of my days I cried aloud I shook my